bear with me. Right, take two. There we go. So if we take two to this side, I'll have two on the other side. And then we just need to split up our troops, really. So if we have one unit, two units of Principes, and one unit of Triarii, and uh, two, uh, one unit of Astarte there, something like that. Triarii, Astarte, Principes, Principes, and these two Astarte. So that's the one. Um, in fact, we'll group those up so we know who they are. Okay, that's good. So that's one uh, line of attack. Over here, we have the other two units. Uh, which means that we have that, 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 and that to go behind. That is the second group of attack. The general will look from this side. He will work with this army here. The horses, well, uh, this is going to be the main gate. This is the front, so this is where the main force should be. So we'll have the horses there, and of course, we'll... I wonder if we should split the uh, troops, uh, split the, uh, the, 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 uh, the missile troops, two on either side, or should we focus them on one side? <sighs> I'm going to take the risk and focus them on one side, I think. Okay, so there we go. Let's see how this works out. Um, whoops a daisy. What the hell's happening here? I'm pressing the wrong buttons, that's why. And wine and a one woman or two. So are we ready? Are you ready? Quintus Bassus, medium command. What does medium command mean? It means he's an average commander? A medium skilled commander? Not quite good enough yet? Still learning the ropes. Anyway, the Germanic U's are all here, which means that this is going to be a rather bloody place to take my ladders. So whilst they are focusing their efforts all the way over here, my uh, other troops are going to sneaky beaky get themselves up to the walls here and breach the settlement from this side. Troops awaiting order. That is how we're going to do business. Now the next question is, do we actually walk right next to this tower or do we bring the ladders in from a slightly safer angle. I mean, we're just splitting hairs now, really, aren't we? I suppose, but uh... Pack them down. Jupiter gives us strength. Okay, so we take them up. We are going to get a bit of a stick from the towers, of course. So as soon as I get inside here, we can capture this tower with the with the troops. Um, maybe even run down and capture this, and then we have ourselves uh, an area where we can uh, stage our attack. I think. Um, these units here should be sufficient to actually take the whole city. They are far superior quality. we can't see inside the settlement just yet because of the fact of the uh, line of sight issue. So whilst these guys remain here, we are not going to send our ladders that or anywhere near this. Last time it was their Germanic use that really rained hell down upon my uh, infantry troops and decimated them. So if we can avoid that this time round, we'll be uh, cooking the gas. Now we're suffering uh, a bit of a uh, arrow fire from the towers, but it's nowhere near as deadly as the uh, arrow fire from from the uh, use of last time. We're going to have to 
suffer some losses, it's not going to be completely loss free, so we'll just keep on going. Right, they will get to about here. This is where they were when the ladder. The, the, the tower started attacking, so we'll just march them forward to that point for now. These guys are, have received less fire. Bit of maneuvering going on here in terms of uh, getting the ladder into place, but now they're all going up. We're going up, and we'll soon conquer this tower, and that should allow us to get up unimpeded with our, the rest of our troops Sons of Mars. and once again a bit more maneuvering required with a ladder Are you not trained to use this or something good grief come on get your act together lads right this unit here Commander. I want in here capturing this uh, capturing this location if you don't mind At the tunnel. Yep, they can now run inside, and we can capture. Yeah, these guys are not manoeuvring this ladder very well. At all. They're suffering uh, quite a few losses here, not very, not very uh, good to see. Seeing as that we have one ladder to the wall, we can actually put our troops in now. Although well, we'll have the war for now. The, lad the uh, tower has stopped firing now that we have actually taken it out of enemy hands and we are now trying to put it into our hands. So if any enemies approach us from this side, they will get attacked by the tower. These guys are really sucking at getting this ladder into position. So uh, we'll give them one more chance and if they fail again, we'll just take them up this one. Captured a tower. So we've captured a tower, it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. I still do not see the enemy, so uh, we'll just slowly work our way through the settlement piece by piece until they show themselves. They are they still seem to be oblivious about what's going on. Still seem to be oblivious. Still thinking that this is our force here, waiting and thinking. Why are they not coming? What are they doing? They just seem to be sat there waiting for something. What are they waiting for? Hmm. What are we waiting for indeed? Right, so... uh have got one person walking up. <laughs> one lone soldier taking the chance. He's going to peek over and say, It's clear! And everybody else is going to come up and follow him. Or maybe they're just going to sit here like idiots and not move. There we go, now they're moving. So it seems that obviously, oh we've got people falling off walls unnecessarily here, I mean come on, get a grip. So it seems to me that this siege engine still isn't, isn't great. I just want these troops in the settlement. Just get yourselves in, stop messing about. Well, I'm in. Just get in there, get away from the walls, away from the ladders, stop falling to your deaths. You know? Is it too much to ask? So, uh, we're in. We have breached, and this time we have breached with minimal losses, which I'm very happy about, but uh, of course the fighting yet is still to break out. We are still yet to find out where the enemy is in the settlement. And uh, we also need to find out which is the best route to go. If we could actually open a gate, if we could go down to here and open this side gate, we could let our troops in from this side. Take them all the way down here and uh, let them in the back door. There's a gate there as well, that's a bit too far away. Seems to be a good idea. 
think it. We'll see if that works out. We'll just get our men over this bloody wall first is the main uh, issue at this current stage. Still got people falling. Fortunately, not falling to their death, landing on their feet though. Kind of strange. Last few men, that's good. Right, um, which is the best way down then? Is it, do we have to go round here? Let's have a look, let's see what we can do, let's see what we can do here. If we line our troops up in a line here, which is the route they're going to take? Looks like we're all over, that's good. Right, what I'll do now is I will actually advance the time a little bit quicker. Now that we have our men over and there's not so much to worry about. They're still oblivious as to what's going on. Completely and utterly oblivious. I don't know where their troops are, but uh, there is uh, some fighting going on here. Ah! Looks like I missed out on that one. So we have a unit of Germanic tribesmen fighting. This is their first line of defence. Has anybody else noticed? I don't think so. And we're off and running then. Oof! Stabbed in the gut! Come on, men! Take him down! No wavering. Yeah, so somebody told me a couple of times about using the whip. It gives us extra uh, melee attack, extra weapon damage, extra fatigue resistance. An ability that the melee units have. And they're now running for their lives, shattered and uh, no doubt gonna send word to their general that uh, we have breached we have been breached sir we have been breached yes you have you've been totally and utterly breached what are you gonna do about it right we'll run our troops in I know I'm usually not happy to have them run and waste their energy but I think the fact that they've tasted blood now their morale is up they're eager to get in here and cause devastation. Bassus has tasked them with infiltrating at the rear, a bit of a sneaky beaky tactic, and they're eager to please him to get the job done effectively and quickly. And here come some Spear Brothers! Oh yeah! Stop! They're off down there. Principes. Looks like we found trouble, boys. Jupiter gives us strength. All right, let me get my bearings here. Don't let them flank you, brothers, you fools. Okay, okay, we're in and running here, we're in. Get every oh, we got some routers again. Oh, we've got them routing, we've got them routing here already. The infiltration force is doing its job. They're running for their lives. Come round, come round. Come round. Come round. Come round. 
Blank the Spear Brothers. Lob your peeler into their sides. No? Bit of a blobby there. Bit of a blobby. Oh, we got some more wavering here. That's all we can ask for. Just keep on fighting, guys. Keep it up. I want to see heads roll. I want to see arms hacked off. I want to see blood. Ooh! Ooh, you see the blood spraying out of his neck? Oh, my God. I asked for blood and I got it. <laughs> Can't complain about that. Right. Let's get them all using that whip. And apparently we need to take them out of formation attack as well because it keeps them a little bit uh, far away from the action. So we'll take them all out of formation attack so they can all attack as they wish. Use the whip. That's it. They've been buffed and they're ready to go. Some more tribesmen are on the way. Put them down! Peeler flying in. We've got some more tribesmen coming. They're running for them. What are you running for? Don't run, morons. Don't run away. We mean you no harm. Right, fine. And we're off again. Ding, ding, ding! We're in! More battle, please! Who is this? Cavalry, cavalry Counter Tactics. That's going to prove to be very useful at this moment in time. Right, this is a group of Astarte. These are all Astarte units. Oh, no, we've got one Principus unit. They should take care of business quite happily. No problems at all. Uh, they still have their use on the wall. Why do you have your use on the wall? I mean, come on, guys. Surely, rumours has you know, rumour has spread that uh, we are in. Right, we'll march them ever forward, advance them ever nearer the victory condition. We'll walk. We won't run now. We can walk casually, confidently, and brazenly. And these guys can walk too. So our troops doing a number on the enemy. In fact, no, we won't walk there. We'll we'll walk to this location. We can get a little bit of a flanky going on. If there's any troops in there, we can take them from that way and take them from that way and uh, show them who's boss. So of course, uh, General Bassus is sat here wondering what the hell is happening thinking are they in are they not in are they dead he has said that if they do not give word raise a roman banner above these towers within a certain amount of time then he will have to, have to launch the attack assuming that the worst has happened this is actually a victory point here that we are conquering We'll, we'll stay in there and wait to capture it then. Why not? Also, he said that if the troops here withdraw from the walls, that will be a sign that uh, something's happening inside the settlement, and therefore he will give, use that as a sign to move his adders forward. Uh, that's actually happening right now. So, uh, they still do have some on the wall, though. Wait patiently. Victory point number two. Our enemy have lost a victory point. Which means the third victory point is this one. So we're gonna just walk ourselves down nice and casually. And this guy is gonna run in and conquer. These guys are going to uh, offer support. Of course, if units start running out of the main gates in front of them, they're going to also know that's a sign that something's gone horribly amiss <laughs> to the enemy. The enemy are running out of the gates! I'd say they're running for their lives, which means we must be uh, doing well inside the settlement. Get them running now. Okay. 
Now, should we run into the backs of the Germanic U's and attack them, or should we? Uh... Yeah. Of course, we should. The general is stood there waiting for us. What better way to greet him than showing blood, bloodshed on the walls? Plenty of Germanic U's. I hate these bloody things. There's no need for us to to waste our troops' lives here. We are capturing the final victory point, but I just want to go in a blaze of glory. Spear peeler into the ranks. Let's go, go, go! Charge in, lads! Do not worry about the fire. Our enemy have lost a victory point. There you go, victory point number three lost. It means the battle shall be over, if I'm not mistaken. Look at this, this is really bad for infantry, isn't it? They're going. They're going. The enemy fort will soon be ours. Six, three, zero, victory! Now, that, Mr. Scipio, is how you conduct business during a siege. I'd say Bassus has got one over on him this time. The Senate will hear of this, and Scipio shall fight no more siege battles, because he is inept. Bassus has proved that he is the superior sieger. Only 259 men lost. We have conquered another settlement from the uh, Subidubis. Kick him in the nuts, stab him in the neck, or in the back even. Common practice. Victory! Bassus ranks up, and we bring a close to today's session. Two lands captured! The Subi Doobies have only two more to go, or one more? Who owns this land up here? I think Ascal Countless is their last land. Hmm, interesting. So, uh, there we have it! In the next session, we shall retake stock of what's happening. Of course, we need to convert some of the buildings here as well and figure out what we need to do there. And then, of course, there is the last settlement here to take. And then from that point, we can then see where we're going to go next. Africa, Gaul, or further east? Maybe I'll let you decide. But for now, until next time, have a good Christmas, and I'll see you soon.